I'm doing this in my office, um, and uh, no one's here to hold the camera, so. Anyway, well, I'm Barb Trammell. I'm the president and founder of the Granny Basketball League. We started in 2005, sort of accidentally. There's several things written um, about how we got started, so I won't bore you with that. But I uh, did want you to know a couple of things that maybe weren't covered in some of our other materials. And that is that um, in addition to playing uh, against each other in league play, a lot of what we do has to do with charity. All of the teams have um, a charity that they give proceeds to when they, when they play games. Um, we are self-supporting. All of the ladies pay their own expenses. We don't, um, we don't have any salaries. Everybody's a volunteer. Um, so um, any money that we do receive is given to a charity of some kind. We're a 501c3 corporation. Um, I wanted to tell you about um, a couple of books. The first one is how I actually got the idea of Granny Basketball, and that's this book that I wrote about my dad, actually with my dad before he died. He was a girls basketball coach in Iowa in the 40s and 50s, and he took a team to the state tournament in 1952, so I was about, oh, I don't know, eight or nine years old at the time. And uh, anyway, in this book, he was telling me about the first game that he saw in Bondurant, Iowa, in 1920. And he described the way the girls played then. And so I got to thinking about, gee, I, I could even play that way. So. That was how the whole idea originated. So when I started the, the league in 2005, it was to raise money for an old building in Lansing, Iowa, where I lived at the time. Um, we found out that uh, we could uh, earn money by playing games, but we thought this was just going to be an exhibition game, one game. And um, I think we total contributions of like $47 or something. It was going to take us about a million years <laughs> to uh, save the old stone school. But we still do give to a lot of different charities, and I'm not sure. It's upwards of $200,000 or so over the years. Um, I particularly wanted to, um, also to tell you about a, a little book that I wrote when people started finding out about granny basketball and I kept getting so many inquiries from everywhere all I was doing was telling people about granny basketball and how to get started so I wrote this little book called the joy of six and it explains how you get started how the league actually got started and how people could start their own team but I also wanted to particularly tell you about uh, the Harper's Ferry team not only are they uh, extremely talented and skilled, but they're just the nicest ladies, and they are the epitome of what we want granny basketball players to be. They're great sportsmen. They have a lot of fun. They don't have any jealousy or backstabbing or anything like that going on. They come from this little teeny weeny town. It's the smallest town in the league. They have the smallest gym. The population of Harper's Ferry is only 324 people. But all of the people there are very, this is my cat, Alice. These are, um, uh, all the people in Harper's Ferry are very proud of their team. And uh, they make sure that everybody knows that they have the state champions, the Iowa state champion, granny basketball team, and the national champions last year. Uh, one incident that occurred in the state tournament was that, the Harper's Ferry Fireflies, early in the rounds, were playing against an inexperienced and not very skilled team. And uh, they could have just throttled them probably by 40 or 50 points. But they didn't do that. Uh, the coach, Bill Nation, put in uh, his second team to play against his other team. And so the game was nip and tuck the whole way. But he did not take out his second string players. 
he left in his second string to play against this lesser team, and they managed to pull it out. Uh, they squeaked it out, but not by much. So, um, just wanted you to let you know the character of, of this team, and uh, we would hope that all of the teams uh, follow their example and uh, become very sportsmanlike and easy to get along with and um, have fun in the process. So I guess that's about all I need to say. Again, sorry about the videos. They're not great, but we didn't have any time to practice or redo anything. So what you see is what you get. Thanks a lot. We hope to see you soon.